welcome back to my channel um i have a different video today um basically i think about two weeks ago maybe less than that i ordered something um and i'm very excited to open it actually i will have to build it what i got is actually something you use for your birds when you take them to the vet or if you want to take them out for a walk um, basically if you couldn't guess by now I actually got them a carrier now maybe some of you guys are familiar with her account but um, it's Daffy and Penguin if you guys don't know who she is I'll have her link down below um, so she's a very nice friend of mine on Instagram um, I've been following her for I think a couple years now and then she started opening her own shop which is called the Parrot Fun House which I'll also have a link down below to that and she basically had a prototype of a carrier and then after mastering a beautiful carrier she kind of made it public and I purchased it and um, I think it's been out for some time now um, and I'm so excited, I really am. I will have to build it. I don't think that I will show you guys the building process because that might be a while. But it was very nicely packaged. And if you couldn't tell, I took a lot of um, bandages off of it. So it was seriously very nicely packaged. And I'm really excited to open it. So let me build it and then I'll get back to you guys. Oh my god, I think I kinda died a little bit inside. If you guys cannot tell what that is, I don't know, maybe you need to get your eyes checked, but that's a bird. That is beautiful. This is where you put the uh, feeder cup. That is actually very beautiful. I didn't realize that um, when I was looking at the pictures and stuff, but that is absolutely adorable. So let's get building right now. So I got all my supplies. I'm really excited about the birds. Look, they're so adorable. The feeding bowls, that's the um, carrier cover. And then those are, um, I think one of them is a handle and the other one is going to be a perch going inside the carrier. But I'm also very happy that she had this. Um, hopefully it's in focus, but can we talk about how pretty it is? Look at all the feathers. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build this. I'm most likely going to do it off camera. Maybe in between I'll show you guys some clips. But most likely I'm going to try doing it without it being on video. Simply because, I don't know, it's just going to be harder for me. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might have some clips in. Hey guys, it's actually been a while. I actually already assembled the carrier. Um, you guys could see the black um, cover for it. Now, I do use the black cover. And the main reason is because one, Blossom gets very anxious. And two, uh, when I take Edward and Kiwi. Um, Kiwi is very, very good at the vets. But Edward... Um, is not he gets very anxious actually probably one of my most anxious birds he gets very panicky edward has never been a hundred percent tame um and i already mentioned it kind of to my followers especially on my instagram account that it's not that i give up it's just that i now know his boundaries he doesn't like it like many stuff he doesn't like and i don't see the point in having to force my bird to be honest, to be a friendly bird, because he has never bitten me for the past, how many years has it been? Three years? Edward has not bit me once. It's just that there's many things he does not like, and I am not, you know, I'm not going to force him to do training, all those cute stuff. Edward just isn't the bird for it, um, and... I have known him for so long and he's the cutest thing but he, he it's just not for him. Uh, if you guys remember from my other video where I took him to the vet, Edward does have a heart condition. He has a heart arrhythmia so his heart rate is very irregular. Now this kind of makes a lot of sense because whenever I tried taming him, by the way when I say taming a lot of people are going to get confused, Edward does step up, he also does stay on my finger, that's not what I'm saying when it comes to taming, I know some people confuse that, um, all my birds step up, so I'm talking about more like head scratches, cheek scratches, Edward doesn't like that, so the whole idea of him stepping up, it's very easy, Edward does it, but even when he does that, he's panting, so I really try minimizing his stress and this cage cover really helps me with that now let me show you guys what it looks on the inside 
So this is what the carrier looks like. Um, I will do a close up of everything. Now I do have kind of fuzzies over there. I didn't clean it, which is kind of bad on my part. But uh, those are blossoms feather because it was actually blossoms um, vet visit a couple weeks ago. Um, so I took her, um, which she's in very good health. Um, so let me show you guys a close up of everything. So this is the handle, um, I really like the handle, it's very strong, very durable and I really like the width of it. It also is very comfortable to hold because uh, it wraps around your hand very nicely and when I'm holding the carrier using the handle, I know this is going to sound weird, maybe I'm kind of paranoid but it feels strong. I don't feel like my carrier is going to just drop. <laughs> so that's for me at least that's a very nice security measure it feels very strong to the grip I really like it now if we come closer you guys could see the handle by the way all that mess you're seeing there that's actually because wait for it Blossom was licking the carrier <laughs> so it's not my fault she was licking the carrier so it does have this handle which you could I'm doing this with one hand it's kind of hard but you could lock it which I don't want to really lock it but let me see okay so that's how it's locked um, now again this is very strong it doesn't feel like the door is gonna open and, and this is very secure in my opinion I think this is really cute. This is um, the store owner's logo. It's called Parrot Funhouse. Um, so I'll have all her information. She also has her website over here. Uh, but I'll also have her information um, for you guys down in the link below. These are the f feeding bowls. But what I think is a very cute touch is that these metal parts, they're, they're in the shape of a bird. And I think those are like the cutest thing ever. What I think is also a very neat touch to the carrier is that there is a lot of ventilation. So on each side, which is this side and on the other side, there are these holes where it helps keep the carrier ventilated. Um, you have them also on the top. But what I think is also neat is that the owner could have just put it um, on the top area. But instead, she actually put it on the bottom part, which I also think is very neat and very smart because there's also ventilation going from the bottom. And like I said, other than the front door, which, I mean, it makes sense to not have, you know, something like that in the front. If there's ventilation areas for, you know, everywhere. So, I think that's actually a very neat touch. So, let's go inside and see what the cage looks from the inside. So, this is what it looks inside. Now, when you're building um, this carrier, you have a couple of options. And I'll tell you one of them. Is that when I have this perch here, you can have it a bit lower if you would like. So, there are these holes at this side. Now, I prefer it having a bit higher. The reason is because I have cockatiels. And if anyone has cockatiels, they know that uh, cockatiels have pretty long tails. Same with budgies. Um, they have long tails. And this is great. Um, the tails fit perfectly. That that was the major issue I was having with my other carrier is that the tail was kind of getting squashed um, you know at the corners of the carrier with this carrier I'm, I don't have that issue so if you maybe have like a lovebird uh, or any bird that doesn't have necessarily a long tail you could put it a bit lower oh I caught a feather so this is what the food bowl looks like I'm gonna try showing you guys a close-up um, and I think it's very neat. It's also stainless steel. So that's that's very good and there are two So I don't really put water because that tends to get messy when you're taking your bird to the vet or you know Just a play date what I tend to do is put dry goods in one and maybe like kind of like wet foods Like maybe even like cucumber to keep them hydrated um, But if you want you could have water in it as well I'm not very good at explaining details, especially when it comes to building something, but you see a screw here and it has this loop. And if you're wondering what that is for, you could pretty much attach a toy or, you know, put a millet stick. Like, you could do a lot with that. Um, I have attached a toy, um, especially with, like, Muffin and Muffin plays with it because Muffin's a very relaxed bird. As I am speaking right now, to give my final opinions, I will be inserting right now clips of me using this carrier. My overall opinion on this carrier is that it is a fantastic carrier, especially for small birds and medium sized birds maybe even. 
and I say that is because within the bird community I feel and again this is a personal opinion is that small birds especially especially small birds or like extra small birds and maybe even medium sized birds they tend to not get that what would I call it that same attention as a big bird would and this is not me trying to start any drama but I'm actually very happy to see an owner who cares about this innovation it's a very very innovative design it's designed in a very smart manner and to know that this is something available for my birds I was actually more than happy spending the money on it now I will say it is not a cheap carrier but to me I'm not getting 10 carriers like it's an investment it's the same for my bird cage I'm not gonna get 10 cages the cage I have as I mentioned before is $500 I'm not gonna get 10 $500 cages it's only gonna be one would it make sense to be spending $500 on a toy it wouldn't because my birds are gonna ruin that toy in one day so with carriers and cages things that you know or worth the price I think it's best to spend that extra few bucks now I know that every bird owner especially those who own you know small uh, animals they might not be able to afford this carrier but to those that can afford it or save up for it maybe even have it have it as a like a Christmas wish list I think it's actually a very useful carrier um, it, this is just my opinion I genuinely liked it I spent my money on it so if I didn't like it trust me I would have been telling you guys whenever I post a video of my birds going to the vet there's always that one person who would be asking me hey where did you get your carrier how much is that carrier I want that carrier that's a pretty carrier and I mean to be honest it is actually a very pretty carrier it's a useful carrier um, so I don't know like this is my genuine opinion I think it's a very innovative design I think that the owner who has designed this um because she works with a team um and uh, to be honest she does great stuff she has other stuff on her website so you know I would highly suggest you guys check her out um I'll have her personal account um her bird account her shop account, her website. I'm going all up for you guys. I'll have the dimensions bef um, down below. I don't have them memorized, but I really like it. Um, and I know this is kind of like a long-weighted video. Some people, you know, they really wanted me to talk about it. I kind of mentioned the carrier, um, you know, in the comment section to those who wanted to know. But again, this is my final opinion. It was for me worth every buck. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the carrier as well. So, I know some people are worried about my birds. I had some DMs. I also had, uh, you know, some people who are worried about the coronavirus. As of now, there is no real um, research that indicates that it does pass to animals. But there has been one case where a dog has been infected. It was a weak positive um, result, but it was still positive where a dog had the virus. And it was also um, mentioned that the owner did actually have coronavirus. Now... In the time being, we don't know if it passes to other animals. Um, and again, my uh, vet hasn't really also given out information. So I don't know the answer to that question. In the time being, I really suggest you guys wash your hands and maybe not kiss your birds in the beak area. Like I know a lot of us kiss them on the head if you can. Some birds are not a fan of that. But yeah, don't try kissing them around the beak area just to be on the safer side. Um, in, my, um, in my area, which I live in Canada, there was a huge bloom uh, of the virus just spreading. So I am in three week quarantine. Like we're not, you shouldn't really be going out unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, and also, I haven't been posting a lot. If you guys have looked at my videos, you see a lot of videos of me playing with my birds rather than an actual, you know, a well-spent time video. You'll notice it. Um, the reason is because I'm actually busy with school. Um, and then I have break. But even after my break, um, I'm starting the vet assistance program. 
I do plan on doing videos on that. I don't know what you guys think. And the reason why I want to do that is because I know a lot of you guys are interested in being a vet. Being a vet tech or being a vet assistant. Um, and so I think it would be useful to actually take take you guys with me especially because the vet assistance program the area where I am gonna go like the college I'm gonna go they have a farm and I will be there with the animals so I think it'd be a nice touch to take you guys with me and see how I do there and you know I think it'd be interesting but let me know what you guys think about it I know I'm not making a lot of videos but there are a lot of people within the bird community and the YouTube community that does very useful information and I'm gonna have their links down below um i would probably do a very good shout out video but just on the side right now quick links i'll have a couple of uh, youtubers that i really like down below that you guys could watch um they make very good videos and hopefully you guys enjoy watching them as well uh, for now guys bye bye see you next time